So did you stay up late watching the uh, football game last night? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, it was a good one. It was good. It was good. We like to keep it in interesting, you know. So. <laughs> To, to make that jump in the regular season relative to what you did last year? Yeah, for sure. I think, um, you know, just going off of the end of last year and then, you know, through OTAs and, and, you know, during this training camp, you know, I feel really good about where I'm at and kind of where I'm at with, within the offense. So, yeah, definitely um, feeling confident in myself and, and ready to go. Matt had mentioned when we talked to him late last week, I think, well, you had made an appointment to go watch some film with him. Yeah. Friday? Yeah, Friday. What was that? No, it was third, I think Thursday night, maybe? Okay. Yeah. What do you like about doing that and how'd it go? Well, I think, you know, selfishly, it kind of gets in the play caller's head a little bit, you know, so that, that's <laughs> nice. But, uh, no, besides that, you kind of just get to see what he's done in the past and, you know, obviously with guys that he's been with, um, you know, looking back with, when he was with Travis and things kind of he did with him and kind of comparing that to myself and then, you know, seeing what, what I'm good at and, you know, what I can do in, in, those, in those situations. So... Um, just kind of trying to get in, in his head a little bit as well, too, as a play caller, see what he's looking for and, and those type of things. So I think it's always good to just kind of, you know, get with him every once in a while and, and see how he, see, he sees things and how he sees his offense running. So I think that's uh, just really important to do. Just you and him? Going. Yeah, just me and him doing that. And, you know, obviously I get a lot, of, a lot out of that. So it, it's uh, really productive. Cole, what's the biggest uh, difference in your perspective heading into this season compared to this time last year? Uh, I think for me, just confidence. You know, me, you know, mentally, you just feel better with where you're at, um, with the offense, knowing knowing the ins and outs of it, and knowing why you're doing things and, and things like that. So, um, you know, confidence in that respect. Seeing the field um, is a big deal now, and you know, I feel more confident in what I'm seeing and feeling as I'm out there running around. So, um, those are the, probably the two things that have, you know, I think I've, you know, taken steps in uh, going into this year. A lot of tight ends on the the roster. What did you think about uh, Jesper Horstead? making the team what he did against Tennessee. And then the, the follow-up would be, did he get his hair trimmed? Because he indicated he, he might do that. Wow, the hair trimming yeah. would be interesting. Um, wow. Uh, <laughs> no, obviously, Jesper, you know, balled out against Tennessee, and that was awesome to see. So, um, you know, in the tight end room, we more tight ends, the better. So we like that. You know, we have fun with it. And, uh, you know, good for us and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean. He's got some good flow right now. I don't know how he'd look if he cut that off, so we'll see. Cool. What, what signs have you seen over the last few months that this offense can be more productive in the red zone? Yeah, I think, um, you know, just between, I think, tight ends, um, between, you know, we got big targets between me, Jesse, and Jimmy, who, you know, we're all 6'6 six, six and above. I mean, those are some, you know, three big targets there. Um, and then, obviously, just, you know, the way our receivers are playing and then the confidence that our quarterbacks have in us to go make a play. So I think those things are just kind of, kind of, Kind of lead into the season, and you know we'll be good for everybody down there. You talk about getting in the play caller's head. Does that come with you know making that leap from rookie to, to second year guy, and just being more assertive, being more direct, and saying like, "Look, yeah. I'm going to be here for you." Yeah, no, for sure. And I think that also comes with you know with the confidence aspect as well. Um, you know, it's good for me. Not only you know I, I, I kind of joke about that, you know, getting the play caller's head, but you know that you know that's important. And I think you know kind of getting that time with him and you know being able to learn and see what he wants with his offense how he wants it executed um that's big too so you know when i do have the opportunity to go make a play or run a certain route that it's run the correct way and and you know it looks good on film cool you're facing a defense that was number one in the league last year did you embrace that challenge as an offense are you curious to see how you stack up against a group that was the best last year yeah i think we're all really excited for this you know it's a really good challenge week one sunday night football you know bears rams i mean it, it doesn't get better than that so um, we're, we're really excited about it. You know, a big challenge. They have, they have some great players, um, you know, in L.A. And, you know, we're looking forward to show, showing, you know, the league what we can do, um, you know, against a talent like that. Well, uh, Alan was just talking about going, you know, one play at a time and not letting the previous one affect it. I realize that's easy to say, but how do you do that? How do you, yeah. how do you wipe that I think I think that's the toughest thing in all sports. You know, whether, um, you know, I pitched in, in, in college and in high school and, um, and played baseball as well. And, you know, to be able to move on from one to the next is is crucial in any sport. So, uh, you know, you just got to put it behind you. You know, it, it's it's easier said than done. I know some guys have a, have a little mechanism to kind of just move forward with some things um, after a bad play or even after a good play. You got you to gotta be able to move on and, and adapt. So um, that's a big deal. Um, you can't be thinking about what happened a play prior or a series prior. You just got to move on and keep executing. You 
you have a mechanism if you got squeezed on a pitch or something? Yeah, like well, for, in high school, so ours and high, our high school coach, Mike Mano, shout out to Mike Mano, he would, uh, we, we did the thing called flush it. So you would just, you know, kind of like you're flushing the toilet on the side of your hip, and that's kind of, you know, just a mental reminder to move on to the next play. You actually, you had to do it, yeah, or you had to run, run laps next practice, so. <laughs> Is there ever a benefit, though, in not flushing it in terms of, like, maybe you ran a wrong route and then uh, <laughs> I deserve that one. Yeah, yeah, that's, wow, yeah, we're going to pause on that one. <laughs> not flushing. Right. Pretend, like I said, <laughs> pretend like I said forgetting it. Yeah. <laughs> Is there ever a benefit to recalling a play that maybe was a negative play, either in either sport, perhaps to? Yeah, well, I think that's what you use, you know, film for and all that stuff. I'm just talking about in, the, in, in the, you know, in the heat of the moment of a of a game and whatnot. You got, you got to be able to move on quickly. But you know, definitely looking back on it, you, you use those mistakes as to your benefit for sure. I mean, that's a fine in the media room for not. Yeah, that that, that 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 would be a fine in the tight end room. <laughs> let's, let's, say, let's say a player, not necessarily yourself, drops a touchdown pass. Yeah. And then comes back later and rebounds from that. It does that can help you in some way though, right? In terms of trying to rebound. Yeah, I think we're just gonna keep going down here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that'd be a hundred bucks in the tight end room. But Cole, the, uh, Sunday will be a longer day, and the week one excitement kind of builds. Do you have any routine for kind of just pacing yourself through a day that's gonna take a long time to get to kickoff? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I, I like to watch movies, TV shows. You, go, you know, you, know, you don't want to. You don't look too much into things. You know, you, you do your prep during the week, and you don't want to be, you know, cram it's not like cramming before a test. You don't want to be doing all that studying, you know, leading right up to it, you know. So um, just review a little bit here and there and just kind of ease my mind and that type of stuff. And then, you know, just that build and get ready to go. So, yeah, no, nothing too much, nothing crazy. But, um, yeah, just kind of a simple routine and, you know, stay relaxed during the day. Is that a day of scroll, like a bend, or do you know what you're going to watch on Sunday? Yeah, I think, you know, we got an idea of what, you know, we're going to be running and things like that, you know, just kind of looking over certain formations, just my notes that I've, I've got during the week. You know, we do a lot of film study during the week, so just reviewing those notes quickly and, you know, feeling confident with where, with where I'm at. And what shows do you watch on the Oh, gee, I just, I, well, I always like to watch new shows. I just finished Mayor Easttown on HBO. Yeah. Really good. Um, I started Dr. Death on Peacock, okay. so maybe that might lead into Sunday. We'll see where I get during this week, so... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.